हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द थ्री टाइप ऑफ एस एफ आर यूज इन सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन इन एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दीज एस एफ आर आर एस बफ रजिस्टर एस कॉन रजिस्टर एंड पिकॉन रजिस्टर द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो we are going to see the concept of serial data transmission modes in 8051 microcontroller before going to see this topic first of all let's recall our previous lecture in that video we have seen the register named as s buff register here s buff stands for serial buffer and this register or this sfr is used in case of data transmission and data reception when if we want to transmit data from our controller then the data first placed into the s buff register okay then it is framed with start and stop bits in some cases it framed with the parity bits and then it is transmitted to the destination if the data is received from any devices then this received data plus first placed into this s buff register and then in a s buff register it is deframed and then it is transferred with the controller that means the s buff register is used to hold the temporary data during the transmission and the reception i hope you all remember the s buff register the second one is s con register the s con register stands for the serial control register or the serial control special function register it is an 8 bit registers and the 8 bits are sm0 sm1 sm2 ren tb8 rb8 ti and ri we all already seen the, all the details about the bit of the scon register let's see once again sm0 and sm1 are the mode specifier bit that means the modes used in serial communication that means mode 0 1 2 3 these are depends upon the combination of sm0 and sm1 bits the sm2 is a multi processor bit or the multi terminal bit ren is receive enable tb8 is transmit bit 8 rb8 is receive bit 8 ti and ri are the transmit interrupt and the received interrupt respectively okay i hope you all remember all the functions of these bits the last one is picon register the picon stands for the power control register as the name implies it contains two important bits pd and idl that means when pd equal to 1 then microcontroller goes into the power down mode while when idl equal to 1 then the microcontroller goes into idle mode these are the two general purpose flag okay i hope you all understand these things now let's see our today's topic the serial data transmission modes in 8051 microcontroller the serial data transmission modes that means mode 0 1 2 3 are selected by the bits SM0 and SM1 of the SCON register depending upon their combination the proper mode is selected that means when SM0 and SM1 both having value 0 then mode 0 is selected mode 0 is a shift register mode and which has the baud rate fixed f divided by 12 if SM0 is equal to 1 and SM1 equal to 1 then mode 1 is selected the mode 1 is 8 bit uart mode and its baud rate is variable when sm0 is equal to 0 and sm1 equal to 0 then mode 2 is selected which is 9 bit uart mode and it has the fixed baud rate f divided by 64 or f divided by 32 and if sm0 and sm1 both having value 1 then mode 3 is selected which is also a 9 bit uart mode only difference is that this mode is having the variable baud rate okay 
i hope you all understand how to select the proper mode of the serial transmission okay by the proper giving proper combination to sm0 and sm1 bit of escon register we can select our desired serial transfer mode okay i hope you all understand this concept now let's see the serial data mode or it is also called as the fixed baud rate mode okay in this mode the serial port works like a shift register and the data transmitted transmission works synchronously with a clock frequency of f divided by 12 okay that means in mode 0 the serial port works as like a shift register the serial data is received and transmitted through r cross d line only this is the very important statement here that the serial data is received through r cross d and transmitted through r cross d also for transmission purpose the t cross d line is not used here okay 8 bits are transmitted and received at any time the pin t cross d is used to provide shift clock pulses okay that means the data transmission and reception is done with r cross d line and the t cross d line is used to provide the serial clock for this shift register okay the shift frequency or baud rate is always f divided by 12 where f is the clock frequency okay i hope you all understand the serial mode zero in serial data transmission now let's see the serial data mode one it is also called as the variable baud rate mode in mode one the serial port functions as 8 bit universal asynchronous receiver transmitter that means uart mode that means in mode one the serial port functions as the 8 bit uart mode the 10 bits are transmitted through t cross d or received through r cross d here the 10 bits means these 8 bits plus one start bit and one stop bit that means there are total 10 bits transferred in the serial data mode 1 these 10 bits consist of one start bit and we know that the start bit is usually a zero eight data bits in which lsb sent or received first and a stop bit and the stop bit is usually one okay interrupt flag ti is set when all the 10 bits have been sent that means all the 10 bits are transmitted successfully then ti flag set similarly if all the all the 10 bits are received successfully then ri flag sets okay once received the stop bit goes into rb8 in the special function register escon the baud rate is variable okay now let's see the next mode serial data mode 2 it is also called as or its baud rate is fixed in mode 2 the serial port functions as standard 9 bit universal asynchronous receiver transmitter that means uart mode that means in mode 2 it works as 9 bit uart mode the 9 bits are the 8 bit data plus one start bit one stop bit and the ninth bit like parity is trans transmitted okay that means there are total 11 bits are transmitted through r cross d or received through r cross d okay that means the 11 bits are transmitted through t cross t cross d or received through r cross d the 11 bits consist of one start bit which is usually zero eight data bits which lsb sent or received first a programmable ninth bit that is tb8 or tb9 bit and a stop bit which is usually one the nine bit generally a parity bit okay while transmitting the ninth data bit the tb8 in escon can be assigned the value 0 or 1 for example if the information of parity is to be transmitted the parity bit p in psw can be moved in tb8 bit 
of scon register on reception of the data the ninth bit goes into rb8 in scon register while the stop bit is ignored the baud rate is programmable to either 1 divided by 32 or 1 divided by 64 of oscillator clock frequency that means this mode also has the fixed clock frequency either f divided by 32 or f divided by 64 i hope you all understand the serial data transfer mode mode 2 now let's see the last type of serial data mode named as serial data mode 3 which is whose baud rate is variable it is also called as the multi processor mode that means whenever we want to connect two or more microcontroller with each other then this type of mode is used in mode 3 the serial port functions as standard 9 bit universal asynchronous receiver transmitter uart mode that means in mode 3 also it is a 9 bit uart mode okay and we know that what is mean by uart uart stands for universal asynchronous receiver transmitter okay the 11 bits are transmitted through r cross d or received through r cross d here the 11 bits consist of one start bit which is usually zero eight data bits out of which lsb or lsb sent or received first a programmable ninth bits tb8 or rb8 and a stop bit which is usually one the mode 3 is same as mode 2 except that the fact that the baud rate in mode 3 is variable that is just like in mode 1 i hope you all understand the four modes of the serial data transfer let's see once again a short overlook on the four modes the mode 0 is selected by the giving value sm0 equal to 0 and sm1 equal to 1 the mode 0 is a shift register mode that means in this mode the serial port acts as the shift register that means in this mode the 8 bit data can be transferred and received on the r cross d line only while t cross d line is used to provide the clock frequency to this shift register or shift operation okay here the baud rate is fixed which is having value f divided by 12 okay the mode 1 is selected by providing the value sm0 equal to 0 and sm1 equal to 1 the mode 1 is also called as 8 bit uart mode that means in this type of mode we can transfer 10 bits the 8 bit data plus one start bit the start bit is also usually 0 and one stop bit the stop bit is usually 1 okay here the baud rate is variable now the mode 2 can be selected by the combination sm0 equal to 1 and sm1 equal to 0 and mode 2 is also called as the 9 bit uart mode okay the 9 bit uart mode that means there are total 11 bits the 11 bits are the 8 bit data plus one start bit it is usually 0 plus one is uh, the one is stop bit which is usually one and another one is the ninth bit which is used for the parity bit or any other bit okay this bit may be stored in tb8 in case of the data transmission and while reception it is stored in rb8 okay i hope you all understand the mode 2 bit the baud rate of mode 2 is fixed which is maybe f divided by 64 or f divided by 32 and the last mode is mode 3 which can be selected by the sm0 equal to 0 and sm1 is equal to z sorry the mode 3 can be selected by giving the value sm0 equal to 1 and sm1 equal to 1 then mode 3 selected mode 3 is selected which is also a 9 bit uart mode the mode 2 and mode 3 are similar in manner only difference is that the mode 3 is used in 
द मल्टी प्रोसेसर मोड एंड इट्स बर्थ रेट इज वेरिएबल एज लाइक मोड वन ओके आई होप यू ऑल नाउ अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दी फोर मोड्स ऑफ सीरियल डेटा ट्रांसमिशन थैंक यू